Now I'm gonna show my face. Let me tell you something, JW friend. If you keep being a sleep to the watchtower, if you keep denying that Jesus Christ is God in the flesh, you're gonna burn in hell, bro. You're gonna burn in the pits of hell. I don't care if you get mad at me, you could ignore me. When you see me yelling in the streets when I expose you. And oftentimes I just show you love, bro. Like, oh, I was, I was just like asking you a question. And you grab your phone, snitch on me with your little elder. You know, with the, with the metal medals. And and for you, JW elders, you guys need to repent. You know, stop um, stop protecting pedophiles. Um, reporting to the police. You guys are a bunch of cowards. The Bible says the cowardly will not inherit the kingdom of God. You know, um, um, you JWs, if you guys see me, stop shunning your family members. Jesus never shunned people. First Corinthians 5 is completely out of context. Yes, you cannot, you have to disfellowship those who are living in sin, but you cannot, but you're not supposed to shun them. Nowhere in the Bible does it say shun people. You guys are a bunch, you know, of wicked devils. You guys are your father, the devil. The Watchtower Code. I pray that the Watchtower building in New York, in Jesus' name, I pray that one day the Watchtower burns down. I heard that. I, I pray that one day it gets all destroyed. I I hope it gets destroyed. And I pray that there's zero people there, that nobody gets hurt, that nobody gets injured. But I do pray that the Watchtower gets destroyed one day. You know that um that there's like a fire or something, but without people being there. Um you know, I do love those people so much. I know a lot of people be like, Oh Brian Lito JW so alone, Brian, you're not gonna go anywhere with them. Um you're wasting your time with them and this and that. And by by God, by the Holy Spirit, you know, to get go down. I didn't want to. My flesh doesn't want to talk to them. My flesh wants to go out in the streets. Um, I don't want to be back being the or old Lo Brian Lobos Quintanilla. You know what I used to do when I was in the world? I would just chill, mind my own business. You know, everybody used to leave me alone and all that stuff, you know. But I'm telling you, if you're a JW, you're watching this, stop listening to your elders. Don't worry if your elders shun you. You're supposed to be fearing God. Ecclesiastes 12, 13 says, This is the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His command. It doesn't say fear the watchtower and keep the watchtower's commandment. Or fear, fear the watchtower and shun your, 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 your brother, shun your mom, shun your dad, shun your sister, shun your brother. Every time someone leaves your coat, shun them. I, don't go to their funerals if they die. I, I know, I know how you, you how, how y'all are, bro. Y'all ain't gonna fool me, bro. Y'all ain't gonna fool me, bro. Like, I'm, I'm not stupid. You guys could laugh at me. Y'all can laugh at me all you want, but on um, judgment day, you are not gonna laugh at Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You're gonna have to. You're gonna bow your knee to Jesus. And um, newsflash: you won't be living here on earth forever. You're gonna be burning in hell, bro. If you if you um dying that cult, you're gonna die and go to hell. Because John two eight twenty four says that unless you believe that I am He, ye shall die in your sin. If you don't believe that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is God in the flesh, you're gonna die in your sin, bro. You're gonna die in your sin. You're gonna end up in the lake of fire. There, I'm done ranting the Jehovah's Witnesses. Now let's go back to what happened after um
I missed them knocking on my door. So I prayed that one day they'd come back and knock on people's doors so I could, like, at least chat with them. I even want to take them to Starbucks and be like, hey, come on, brother. You know, let's have a chat. You know, I want, I want to talk to y'all. You know, let's talk about Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who is Who does Jesus mean to you? You know, um, they also have other weird doctors that Jesus died in the torture stake, which is not a lie. Jesus died on the cross, not in the torture stake. Stop. I already told you, stop listening to the watchtower, bro. You're going to burn in hell. You want to keep being a stick to the watchtower? That's fine, bro. That's fine. But one thing I know that unless you die your sins, bro, you're going you're gonna to be burning in hell forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Mormons are going to end up in hell if they do not receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So, um, I got cursed out, you know, simply for giving my seed away to a guy. Wow, bro. Um, um you know, yeah, he like, he like, oh, man, that made me cry, to be honest, of how people like, are actually so mean. It just made me cry in tears, and I'm like, Lord, what's going on, Lord? Like, I'm just being nice to these people. Then, um, yeah, guys, you know, I just want you guys to continue praying for me. Because I had a lot of warfare when I got out there. Just for talking to four Jehovah's Witnesses. That's all I did. Talk to four Jehovah's. I didn't talk to anybody else. Just them. They were like my main, the main people I wanted to talk to. Especially since they're there like for hours. Then, um... Somebody else went to go preach to them anyway. So, uh, they really, those Jehovah's Witnesses over there, they don't have no excuses. You know, I love them so much. But most of them are very stubborn. That's why sometimes in my flesh I don't want to talk to them. But then I know I have to, Lord. I'm going to deny myself um, Yeshua. I'm going to pick up my cross like you command me to do in Matthew 16, 24. And I'm going to open my mouth and tell them that unless they repent, they're going to likewise perish in the lake of fire. They're going to be burning in the pits of hell. They're going to be burning and screaming and suffering. If they don't, if they, don't um, if they keep molesting their children, uh, I'm going to like tell them that if, if, they, um, if they don't believe in hell fire... That they're going to be there for calling um, you a liar, Lord, because you are not a liar. You're the same yesterday forever. Um, you're the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning of the end, the first of the last. You are the vine. And, and um, you're the father, God the Father's the husband, man. You're um, Yeshua. You're, um, you're the who I am, the I am. You're everything, Lord Jesus. There's no one, there's no other way. There's... Uh, verse 72, 5 says, there is no other, there's no mediator between God and man. That's you, Lord Jesus. Your word says in Acts 4, 12, that there's, um, there's, there's neither, there's no other name where you can, there man can be saved. Only through your name, Yeshua. Only through you, Jesus. Demons tremble in your name. Demons tremble in the name of Jesus. They don't tremble in the name of Muhammad. They don't tremble in the name of Buddha. They don't tremble in the name of Joseph Smith. They don't tremble in the name of Charles T A Charles Tuzzo. They do not tremble on Ellen G. White. They don't tre they do not tremble on those dead gods. They tremble on you, Lord. <laughs> Oh, I feel your presence, Holy Spirit. Those where the Holy Spirit knows what what it's like. Jesus above every name, the name where every knee will bow down, every tongue will confess, and um. There's just a lot of stuff that's been going on, and I'm like, Lord. And I'm going to tell you guys uh, on earth something else. You know, I don't want to share it right now, but, you know, one of my goals before I leave planet Earth, one of my goals, you know, before before the Lord returns is um, to have a family. A brother was just telling me um, earlier, oh, Brother Brian, you're going to get married one day. But you've got to do this, you've got to do that, you've got to work. Work your body out, you know, um, lose weight. <laughs> Thank you, brother. You know, I'm not going to mention your name here, but I want to thank you, brother, if you see this video. Um, you know, that's one of my goals before the Lord returns, is to meet a nice Christian woman. I've been waiting for her for a long time.
Lord, you know, you have to take the desire away from me. You're sufficient. I gotta learn how to, like, rely on God alone. And not on my feelings and emotions. So, I hope this video, you know, um... Um, thank you for those who've been checking up on me. I'm gonna need some space from some of you guys, you know. Some of you guys, I feel that it's not working out, you know. Um, I'm gonna continue seeking the Lord. And, um, I, I hope everybody else has a great night over here. May God bless you guys in Jesus' name. I love y'all. Um, just walked into a piece of cake. There's times I just feel like throwing the towel, like, giving it up and be like, not this Christian walking for me. Um, but I know it's the life from the enemy. God bless you guys, brothers and sisters.